Six, five, four, three, two, one. for that. Okay, so but like I was saying at the new space, when we walk up the steps, this that's the side like closest to the door. When they go, that's it's, it's like away, uh, away from the door. I think that's something I might be turned around. But anyway, when we walk up the steps, that's where this desk will be with that on that gray wall. And then we'll put the trophies right in front of it. He finished the floor, so when I go over there, I'll be able to look at it. But I don't want to take the trophies over there dirty. And then we can use, if we have to, and we don't have enough space, we could put the pom-poms behind it and that could be the pom-pom storage space. They could probably, if he said they cut glass, it's no, it's shattered all the way through. You yeah. can see it. Yeah. So that one is yeah. done. Yeah. And I was like, oh, when I break it, I'm looking at that one. But see how this right here cracked? Mm -hmm. I wonder, can they stop it from cracking? It's eight years that they was on the wall. That's a long ass time. In this actual moment, I am, I'm okay. I've had my moments of tears, a little anger, frustration. Am I making the right decision? As a gift to myself, I opened up Dollhouse Dance Factory number two, right in the heart of Birmingham, Alabama. Over the years, there has been just so many things that have happened that have caused me to question whether or not I should keep the studio open. However, I'm kind of at a crossroads, and I think it's time for me to really make one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. There's a lot of things that happen, and I think it's really time, like, we really, like, get to the nitty-gritty of, like, why the hell we stayed for eight years. A lot of people may not have been following my journey over the last 22 years of owning the Dancing Dolls and over the last 12 years of having Dollhouse Dance Factory but number two was something that was built out of the pit of my soul. And just the idea of just having to close it just really has me sick to my stomach. When I signed the lease the first time, when the lease was up the first time, I should have left in, but I didn't. When I signed the lease the second time, I should have left in. Oh, but I didn't. So now it's time to sign the lease the third time and I'm just not, it's not, the lease is up, it's time to go. It's just, I think it's just ran its course. It's not the, it's not the kids. It's never the kids. It's the landlord, it's the location. I mean, if you really look out on the outside of the building, if I have a property, and instead of just trying to put any space in every single place in the property, I'm gonna look at what's around it. And then next door, I see a pole dance studio put next door to a kid's studio, and I'm really confused. And then it was the conversation of, oh, well, we can do group classes. <laughs> We got kids in here, like five, six, seven, eight, like maybe they mamas maybe, but not with the kids. And then they go to the pole dance studio, it's our church. And I don't have a problem with the other dance studio because she's amazing, by the way. It's just the pole dance studio throws off the whole ambiance. We're going to get into all that, but just, yeah. I just, my brain is like, right now. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Because we need to sit out in the parking lot and just fucking talk. <laughs> Shit. One of the banners had a bullet hole in it. Somebody got the shooting out here. And the shooting went through the dollhouse glass. Because I guarantee whoever seen this video, they're going to feel some type of way. They're going to feel some type of way. Move to the beat. 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 